In this video, we'll talk about the various ways that you can search, filter, and create views of the heat map list. To get started, select a website you want to work on from this menu, and then select heat maps on the left. This will take you to the heat map list, which we've covered in a previous video. One of the first things you may want to do is search for a particular heat map of a page. The easy way to do that is to click this search icon and then type in the beginning part of the page that you're interested in. For example, if I want the heat map of the slash blog page, I could simply type that in and here's that heat map. One other interesting thing that this gives you is actually all the pages that start with slash blog, which makes it really easy to find common page templates. Another option that we have is to actually filter the heat map list directly. By clicking on the filter icon, it opens this area that I can come over here and apply some of the filters that we're used to in the recording section or under funnels and forms. For example, I could filter for all the visitors in the United States to only see their activity reflected in heat maps. I could add additional filters like operating system, browser, traffic source, or even the visitor type, whether a user is a first-time visitor or returning visitor, as well as certain screen resolutions. Another option is to filter by device. For example, you can look at only phone visitors or phones and tablets, or maybe you just want to see the desktop users. Finally, if you use tags or variables, you can filter for specific variables here. If you use UTM parameters to direct traffic to your site, you may want to search for all the users that come from an email campaign, for example. As soon as you click Apply, that'll automatically update this list so that you see only people matching that segment. Of course, you can also filter by date. We can simply go back in time, pick a start date, pick an end date, hit OK, and that's going to automatically update this list for us. I'll go ahead and clear out all of our selections for now. One thing we can also do is apply a filter and then save it as a view. Maybe this is something I'm going to want to return to frequently. So this is phones on the blog and maybe I want to save that as a report. As soon as I click save I can now access phones on blog from this quick menu over here. Next time I open the heat map list I just click select phones on blog and will automatically be taken into this segment with all the live and updated data.